Romans 10, 17. So faith comes by hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Thank you for listening to Now Hear This, a Faith Comes By Hearing podcast. Welcome to our show. Today, it's my pleasure to have Ken Weigel, who's the Senior Director of Strategies for The Bible Project. Ken, thanks for being here. Uh, It's my pleasure, Aaron. Thanks for having me. So, Ken, what is The Bible Project? Yeah, The Bible Project is a studio up in Portland, Oregon, that makes uh, free videos that are available in a whole bunch of different platforms that are um, set up. Some of them are books of the Bible. Some of them are themes from the Bible. But they're all, we have over, right now, around 140 in in a growing library of free videos that are short animated videos that really help explain books, themes, um, just even for some folks who've really never studied how to read the Bible, they're just really helpful tools that as you engage scripture, really bring a level of clarity that for a lot of us, uh, we've found that we, that we need as we begin to engage scripture. So at the end of the day, we're an animation studio that makes podcasts and and also videos that are all free, all online and all related to, to helping people engage the Bible. You're the senior director of strategies. That's a kind of a long title. Uh Can you unpack exactly what that means for the Bible Project and what your role is? Yeah, Aaron, what that really means is I can't draw and I can't animate. (laughs) And so so when you can't draw and animate and you're really not the best at exegeting Romans, they give you the title of Senior (laughs) Senior Director of Strategies. What I really get to do, Aaron, I have the opportunity to work with a lot of our patrons around the world and work with a lot of our audience engagement team and a lot of the things that just happen outside of the studio. So a, a lot of our external partnerships, groups that we work with, um, I have the pleasure of just helping um, steer some of those, the way that we work, the way that we, uh, you know, as a nonprofit that, that works a lot on YouTube, but also is working with a whole bunch of different ministries around the world. It takes a little bit of uh, finesse and just really just asking the Lord what he's up to as we partner and, and as we grow. And so um, a lot of the work that I do is everything kind of outside of the actual creation of the videos and podcasts. So I've, I've watched many of the Bible Project videos. I'm a big fan of, of your wisdom series. And so what, what gave uh, your ministry the idea to help people engage better with Scripture through animation? Uh, yeah, I think it's a great question. I think, I think for a lot of us, uh, like we make them for Christians. We make them for people but they, that, that claim to know Christ, but honestly have become to this place where for some of us, and I'm one of them, as I would read the Bible, I would actually have sometimes more questions that I had answered. Um, and as I and I actually found it intimidating to read the scriptures. And often I was becoming kind of one of those post-Bible Christians where I just didn't read. I would just say, oh, I believe whatever so-and-so would say about a particular topic. But I personally wasn't reading the scriptures. And so, and so really kind of selfishly, like our, our two founders, one is, one is a real creative genius and the other one is, is a biblical scholar. And, the, and really was this idea of making it to help the creative genius just go, hey, can you help me ex- understand these scriptures? So, and, we, and we knew that he wasn't alone. We, he knew that, that there were lots of people just like him that had really huge questions that uh, for a lot of us, we just were never really taught how to read the Bible. And so... And so for us, it really is this entire idea of saying, we don't want to substitute this for Bible reading. Like there's, there's still no substitute for being able to go in and, and read a book in its entirety or a section of scripture or even the whole Bible. But to be able to have really tangible, um, fun, engaging, high quality tools that help as you read to be able to really understand what that was and be able to help you understand, um, give you a foundation for not only that book that you're, that you just read as for, as well as the ones you're about to read. Cause there are so many times I'd listen to someone talk about scripture and they'd say, Oh, I really like the old Testament. Or, I mean, I really like the new Testament, not the old Testament. And really like our mission is to help people experience the Bible as a unified story that leads to Jesus. And for a lot of us, they, they look through the scriptures and say, man, it feels like it contradicts itself or it feels like it's just, you know, fill in the blank. And for us, we really wanted to create something that was low barrier, free, easy to access, that allowed people to find something that was fun and engaging as they as they approached what for some people is really daunting of scripture engagement. Mm. On your website, you talk about how you don't just want people to engage with scripture as just a sporadic uh, devotional and not to just use it as a holy instruction manual. Can you explain a little bit about why, what your passion is in, in getting people to engage in God's word the way that you do? 
I, I think I think a lot of times, even you know, as I was growing up, there were people that would they would have like a verse, or they'd kind of jump into the scripture. They'd take one thing and they'd read it. They'd figure out how to apply it today, and then kind of move on. And and not that there's anything wrong with that, but for a lot of us, it's helpful to understand that that verse actually comes out of a context for that chapter, and that chapter comes out of a context for that entire book. And even that book comes in the context of a section of scripture. And and for a lot of us, as we've read. We've been missing context. We've been missing really understanding what was God up to as He was working with these, uh, with these authors, uh, to put together this amazing piece of literature that is the Bible. I mean, we're talking about the greatest book, you know, in the world. I mean, this divine literature. And so for us, um, there's something about the idea of being able to to pause and to look at and to look at it from a place larger than just one thing to, to grab and, and write it on, you know, a, a note a notepad to remember, but something to be able to understand the whole text. To really understand the overarching story of the entire Bible is really important. And so I think when you can see the New Testament in light of really understanding the Old Testament, I think it just gives such a greater depth to the reader and to people who are um to people who would say, this is my faith, this is what I put my entire hope and trust and life into, and I think that there's just so much more value that can come uh, when we read it as his scriptures, as opposed to just pulling a, a bite out here and there, and and I just, and not that that's the wrong thing to do, but we just think that there can be so much gained when you're actually understanding it in, in larger chunks. And so now that you've, you've put this theory into practice, what kind of impact are you seeing from, from the work that you're doing? Yeah, so the way that we did it, we really started making videos. Um, we, we started making theme videos that would take like a theme like holiness or a theme like covenants or, or, or just these things that God from, from Genesis to Revelation just put into Scripture. And so we really wanted to, to highlight those to show that there really is a unified story from start to finish. But then we also wanted to put together books that would help take or uh, we wanted to put together videos that would help take books of the Bible and really give you the context for those. And what we saw, especially as we, as we, that library began to grow from, from two to six to six to eight, once we actually finished the Bible, we were able to partner with groups like YouVersion and others to put it into reading plans and put it into places where folks are able to access it as they're reading. And the feedback that we get is just amazing. Like one of the things that we get because of uh, our platform being on a lot of digital uh, places we're able to see view counts every day, and we're able to get letters in the mail and let and emails. And so, uh, I, I think this last month it was 1,600 emails that we got in, just saying, "Hey, this was so helpful." Um, not the most helpful for the person who answers emails, but it was really helpful <laughs> for those <laughs> for, for those folks. But it, it like those are those kind of like letters that we get and and views that we're able to watch of of, of tens of thousands of people in the Bible app every day reading the word and being able to access these videos. That's, that was some of the evidence that we were able to see. Um, one of the other kind of unusual things about what we do is we're, um, we're a crowdfunded nonprofit. And so mm-hmm. what that really means is when we started, we didn't start with like these kind of necessarily like large donations that would really fund the ministry. But we asked the folks and we said online, we said, if you found this video helpful, um, help us make the next one. And so we really wanted that to be a feedback loop where we'd be able to hear directly of like, is this helpful? Is this is this scratching an itch that you, that folks have? And so for us, that has been the wind beneath the sails of our entire studio is just this group of really faithful folks. I mean, it's 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 a few thousand folks from around the world that help allow our artists and animators and and team to be able to exist. And so that has been for us. The, the we we internally we say that we're part of this wave that God is doing with Scripture, which which folks like you that faith comes by hearing and others are all a part of, and for us it's just understanding what our role is within that, and then being really faithful to this is His work that we're participating in, not our work that we started. Mm. And as you say, it is His work, and if God is behind it, it will be successful. And so, in what what ways have you seen God? Um, show up in in your ministry as as you guys have progressed. I think one of the things that we look for most of the time is is engagement stats. Is is I mean, there's there's there can be libraries full of books, but if people aren't reading those books, you can kind of you can kind of just go, man, is this the most effective way to do something? And so for us, like we grew initially. Um, 
you know, it, it used to be that in order to have have something come out, you really had to like uh, work really hard with distribution of that. And and we're living in a day and age now, which is kind of unusual for some folks, but things like you YouTube and others have really revolutionized the way that content can come out. Mm-hmm. And it really has kind of disrupted the, the model of distribution. And so what we were able to see was, is was just slowly but surely like as we would put content out and folks would share it just organically like we we don't actually spend money on traditional marketing everything that we do is shared organically and so as we put it out on youtube we would just slowly watch like the number of people who would start to subscribe and start to watch and start to watch view counts and so it took us about two and a half years to hit a hundred thousand YouTube subscribers, which is huge. Um, and we celebrated that and that was a really big day. And I can, I can, I remember that day. And then it was about less than a year and a half later, we hit a million YouTube subscribers. And so for us, like, and, and just, I think, um, just last summer we hit between our different, uh, channel platforms over a hundred million views. And that happens, um, all across the uh, all across the world, forty four percent of all of our views come in from outside the United States. Um, obviously, we're talking about the English videos right now. Although, although we're working on translations, you know, primarily these stats are around English, and 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 we're actually hitting from an. When you talk about like, is this effective and is God behind it? One of the interesting statistics is we know because because YouTube knows everything about us. Evidently, uh, we know how we know that that they're watched primarily by by males eighteen to thirty four, which is a demographic that for scripture engagement is is often missed. Right, is often a group that isn't necessarily engaging with scripture and isn't um, diving into the word. And so for us, that felt like such a key role that we got to play. Um, to know that like 65% of our folks fit within that demographic of 18 to 34 year old males. And so for us, that felt like something that God was, was using uh, our content. And that st- that statistic has stayed true. I mean, even today, as of, as of n- this point now, we, we gain about 50,000 um, YouTube subscribers every month. And we have a podcast with over a million downloads every month. And so for us, there's just been this momentum of folks from around the world where we've said, this is free. Do you want it? And just allowing people to, to share it organically. And the momentum that it, that it has gotten has just been one of those things that is beyond our wildest dreams. We, we set a goal in like year one, we set a goal of 100 million views and we hit that in year four. And so for us, there's just part of it where we don't want to under dream what God has for this. But at the same time, we really want to stay right within our lane of saying we want to do what we feel like God has uniquely suited us to do to make this content that helps us fulfill our mission of the Bible as a unified story that leads to Jesus. So if people listening to this podcast right now, they want to find out more about the Bible Project, where should they go? Yeah, they can go to thebibleproject.com. They can also find us on YouTube if you type in The Bible Project. You can also find us, if, if you're in the, the Version app, the, the, the Holy Bible app, there's a little explore button that looks like a little compass on every book of the Bible. And so if you're in Ezra and you push that button, there's our videos. And so for us, it's it's... You know, our website, I think, is a pretty fun experience, but it's really more about having these resources stay free and, and, and be in as many hands as they can through as many ministries as they would find helpful to use them. So I want to give you a chance, Ken, because we're about out of time, to just leave our listeners with some closing thoughts about uh, their own personal engagement with Scripture. Yeah, I, w- I would say that there's something about engaging Scripture for me personally that I always felt like I probably needed more school or I probably was asking questions that other people weren't asking. And there were things that as I misunderstood it, it was probably just because I was not as smart as I probably should have been. And I always figured everybody else had those answers and was, and was, and was gleaning more. And there's something about these videos. I, I, I actually, Aaron, I, I do this right now with, uh, I have a, I have an 11 year old, a 10 year old, a nine year old and a, and an eight year old. Mm. I think I, their age just changes this time of year. And I, I, I forget where they all land, but <laughs> we're reading the Bible together as a family. And these videos, as we would watch it, they begin to ask questions as you read through some of the more difficult books of the Old Testament. And these videos have been so helpful for, for not only, we actually watch them at the end. We, we, we read the book and then we, we play the video. 
And it's been so helpful for watching this, like, this, like, not only my lights go on as, as a 39 year old, but to watch like this, this 10 year old's mind go, oh, that's what that was trying to help me illustrate. Or, oh, that's what that was meaning. And so there's so much of it that, that then gives them a thirst to go, I understand and I want to learn more. And, and I think for so long, even at my age, I felt like I was at the deep end of the pool and not able to touch. And so, and not everybody feels that way. And so if you're somebody that you, re- you read the Bible and you're like, man, I'm really getting this, then you're, you're great. But if you're in a place where often as you read scripture, you just find, you wish you had somebody kind of helping, um, helping give context around these books and these themes, I would just, I would just invite you to, to find out about the Bible project videos or podcasts. And, and if you, and if you like them to share it with somebody and, and just be able to, to allow that to be something that whether or not it's in your reading groups at church or your reading groups within your own family, just to have that be something that could be a helpful tool as you need it. Cause it's free and it's available to anybody all over the world. Well, Ken, thank you so much for, for being here today. I really appreciate your time and, and uh, hearing more about the Bible Project. Aaron, thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure. On Now Hear This, we always highlight a language that has been recorded to promote appreciation for the huge variety of languages throughout the world. We want to connect you with the work being done among these people groups to reach them with the Word of God. Today's section of Scripture is 1 Timothy six eleven through 12 which reads in English, But as for you, O man of God, flee these things. Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, gentleness. Here it is spoken in the Adilabad Gondi language. Iden Hindalvur Duksanaga Konde Matir Batinime Bhagavantan or Bhaktane Andi Yu Samdo Asan Sutikim Bhav Bhaktite Barasate Permate Virtual Gunte Sadhu Pande అని నియత్ని పిసిలి కోసిత్ కీమ్ నీవ బరసతున్ బచికి లెచ్చొకోట్ లడై కీమ్ బస్కెట్ పిసువల్ జీవతున్ గట్ పియ్య తాన్ సాటిన భగవంతల్ నీకున్ కేయితోర్ ఇద్ డగుర్ సతున్ వెలటిర్ గవదార్ కున్ మునే ఒప్తి అదిలాబాద్ గోండి ఇస్ స్పోకెన్ బై 300000 పీపుల్ ప్రైమారీలీ ఇన్ ఇండియా అదిలాబాద్ గోండి హస్ ఎ లిటరసీ రేట్ అండర్ 50% యు హావ్ బీన్ లిసనింగ్ టు నౌ హియర్ దిస్ A Faith Comes by Hearing podcast. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to hear us talk about on the show, email us at podcast at faithcomesbyhearing.com. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. Peace.